may not recognize me today, but this is Rocco Steno, and we're at Storymakers with Hervé Trulay. And we're playing the I game. Well, welcome to Storymakers. Hello. Yes. How are you? I think, I think they want to see what you look like. Okay. <laughs> I look like that. <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes like that. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, welcome to the show today. <laughs> Almost all of your books are interactive. Uh, yeah, I don't like the word interactive. You don't? But, uh, no, because it's with quite a f market stuff. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like that word. I prefer dialogue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to create books that elicit dialogues in between adult and children. Or an adult and a child, or when I'm performing, me and an audience, children in school. And what I try also to elicit is to create your own rule to read the book. It means that with that book, you have not to read. Hello, I'm Robert. You can do it. But I think that you could find your own way to create your own voice and to create your own way to dialogue with the people. And the child could do the same way. You can take it and it become a play. So these books are a kind of playground with a lot of different kind of style, different kind of idea. Some are very simple in a very classical way. Some are really more innovative in terms of way and each of them do not really have any particular rule. You have to find the rule. These are all part of a series. They are pretty much all the same size. Yeah. And, yeah. and the newest one in the series is? Uh, there's, there's always new ones. There's always a new one, <laughs> but today, <laughs> the, the new one today happens to be. Today, this one, I don't know how to read it already mm -hmm. because I do not have any, but I think it's, this one is visual. Mm -hmm. As this one is visual, but this one also could be a kind of Zen or yoga. <laughs> uh, this one, I don't know already. I look being in China. But I think adults will have a good time uh, dialoguing yeah. uh, together on this. Uh, it's kind of like, a, uh, I don't know, it's a miracle for the eyes just, just to look from one, two, three, four, five, six lines how it could turn into so many stuff. And the title of that one the is Game of Lines. The Game of Lines. And this one is called the Trail Game. We have some kids here. No. Yes, they're right there. <laughs> oh, no. And you, you told me no. I told you no kids. Today. No kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is your day off. No, but. And why don't you read that? For okay, us? I can try. So, I, as I told you, I didn't know how to read that book. I conceive it, but I didn't know how to read it. And the idea of the book is there is a start, and you must find the right shape mm -hmm. to turn the page. Okay. And the end of the book, basically, the end of the book is in the middle of the book. It okay. took a while to read it, so I'm just going to show you the process. Okay. So you start, and my work, my work elicits a lot of w sounds. Mm -hmm. you, there's a lot of sounds, but you have to find themselves by yourself. Uh, do I make the sounds? Uh, we can do it together. Okay, great. So we start. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. No. No, no, no. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, you, you, you can't avoid to be a bit ridiculous sometimes. Oh, well, then you're in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh-huh. 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 
오호. 아. 오호. 어, 어. Did you wake up one day and say, I want to make... No, the thing is, uh, uh, I, I wanted to be an illustrator when I was 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And as an illustrator, it was possible to, to do book for children. And I did one, and I did two, and I did three, and more and more I understood it was the right field for me, for creativity, for possibilities to create something really new, and I fall in love with uh, the, the work of being involved into the children field, which, me, which means helping the teachers, it's helping the librarians in their daily routine and to give them a uh, new thing to play, to to create. So you have gone in and worked with children for a month and, and for a year? For sometimes long a of time? classroom for a year, sometimes a school for a year. Really? Yeah, sometimes for two or three days because of the timing, because it's far away, because it's in Malawi. But yeah, for sometimes with two schools for all the year long in the same, in the same city. Yeah. Many uh, people here in the U.S. Uh, know you for your book, uh, uh, Press Here, mm -hmm. and which uh, is a New York Times bestseller. But your newest book with a Chronicle is uh, Mix, Mix It, it up. up. Tell us a little bit about Mix It Up. Mix It Up. It's a book about colors, and you ask the color to come by tapping, rapping. Rap. Okay. And they are coming. Oh. And when they are all set, you can put your hand on. One, two, three, four, five. Close your eyes. Voila! Et voilà. <laughs> You've got a magic hand. A magic hand. With the magic hand, you can take some blue. You can put it on the yellow. And it turns into green. Green. Yeah. Yes. And I do it with the other colors. And after that, to be sure you understand, you can take this book, you can shake it. And what color will go on? Ah. <laughs> Green. <laughs> <laughs> if you land the book that way, it will turn into purple. purple. Oh, okay, I'm catching on. And if you, uh huh, it will turn into orange, orange. Oh, and so orange. on and so on. I like so the way you say orange. Yes, I have my New York orange, uh, and you have your French orange. Orange. Yes. Yeah, orange. So, yeah. And I understand that there is an exhibit of your work called Mixing It Up that was recently at the Brooklyn uh, Library, yeah. and it is traveling. And where is it traveling to? It's going to Midland, Texas. Midland, Texas. Yeah. Well, that's great. So, when you create a book, 
what comes first? You like have a doodle, you're sitting there doodling, and you go, oh, well, this is the beginning of a book, or do you actually have the whole thing uh, uh, planned? I've, I've got hints and intuitions, mm -hmm. and it's going far, far away, and it's going closer, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting on my shower, I'm waiting in the plane, I'm waiting walking, uh, or just waking up, or whatever, and suddenly I feel that I must write it down on my notebook, but when I write down, I write the whole stuff, and then I look back, maybe the day after, and it wasn't the, the right one. No. So I have to wait again and to, to find that hint again, the, the eager to think about ideas. And uh, so I'm waiting. Sometimes it's come in a minute, but when it comes in a minute, it's because I wait for ah. months. I'm going to put you on the spot and okay. ask <laughs> you to show us a little bit of your creativity here. Oh, okay. I've got a very, very, very simple vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, my vocabulary is about dots. Mm -hmm. It's about circles. It's about scribbles. Mm -hmm. But with the scribbles, you've got line. So the line can go through, and maybe the dots could go through. Um, I don't know. <laughs> You've got the beginning of something, but I don't start from that point. I, I start from the really inner idea. Mm -hmm. I love this word. <gasps> And this, when I'm going into school, that's why I try to elicit what are we going to do together? And we are thinking, and suddenly someone say, <gasps> an elephant. And if someone say, later, just one minute, or one second after, say, <gasps> a giraffe, I say, okay, it's done. Mm -hmm. We've got already the elephant. We want something else. We want something different. So I'm very demanding with ideas. And I love ideas. And you have many ideas. Because I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't, I, I think it's just natural because I, I, I'm waiting for them, I'm looking for them, I'm, I'm always thinking there's an idea somewhere. But I, I think I, idea, it's not a big deal of mm -hmm. uh, looking uh, through, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, just walking in my neighborhood, I, I could find an idea. It's become a custom here on uh, Story Makers to uh, celebrate uh, with champagne. And, and we wondered what could we possibly celebrate over 180 weeks mm -hmm. on the New York Times bestseller list. Press, press here. So that's a good enough reason. So let's celebrate. Mm -hmm. Bubble and dots. Bubbles and dots. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> Okay, I'm just put this down. Well, congratulations, cheers, Thank you. and Thank thanks you. for being with us today. Thank you. Remember, until next time, give a kid a book in any format. can put your hand on. Uh, it's a little big. Oh. Oh. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Cut.